Hi, my name is Ben Owens. I am a math teacher at North Central Texas College, and in this video we're going to talk about how to get the most out of your homework assignments, especially when using an online homework system like My Math Lab or ThinkWell. Doing your homework is probably the most important part of learning math. Learning a skill takes practice. I love playing guitar, but I didn't learn overnight. If you've ever played a musical instrument, you know it takes a lot of practice before you sound good. It's the same with math. Like any other skill, learning math takes practice, and that practice comes in the form of homework. So it's important to get the most out of each homework assignment. Online homework assignments are different than a traditional written assignment. So here is how a traditional homework assignment works. First, you have problems you get from a book, you do the best you can on the homework and turn it in. The teacher or grader then grades the homework. In a few days, or maybe up to a week, you get the graded assignment back, and you use the feedback from the homework to fix any misconceptions or mistakes that you had. Now, with traditional homework assignments, making a grade of 70 or 80 is pretty good. It means that you got most of the problems right, but that you had some areas that you needed to look over again. The graded homework is a form of feedback which lets you know what you need to review. The biggest problem with this type of homework, especially in the college setting, is that it takes so long to get that feedback. By the time you receive a graded assignment, you're way past those topics in class. Online homework is different, and it requires a different set of expectations. Here's how an online homework assignment works. You get problems online, on the computer, you work the problems, you carefully type in the answer, and you immediately know whether you are right or wrong. Now, if you are right, you can move on to another problem. And if you're wrong, you immediately know it, so you can figure out where you made your mistakes or where your misconceptions are. If you can't figure out how to do a problem, often there are online tools to help you right there. So when working an online assignment, you get immediate feedback. Typically, with online homework assignments, you're given several chances to get the answer correct. Since this is the case, making a 70 or an 80 is no longer a sign that you're making good progress towards mastering the material. On a traditional assignment, remember, 70 or 80 was pretty good. Online homeworks are designed for the student to work until the desired skill is mastered. That means you should never make below a 95 on any assignment. Now let's look at some tips for getting the most out of these homework assignments. First, be organized. You should have a spiral or a binder set aside just for math homework. As you're working the problems, you should make sure to say which section the problems are coming from and the problem number. This organization is important so that if you have a question that you want to ask, you can tell the teacher the exact problem number. It also helps when you're studying for a test to have your work to go back to look at. Also, if you have an aha moment, write that on your homework so that you'll remember it when studying for the test. Second, start early. Don't wait for the last minute to start your homework. If you do, you miss the opportunity to ask questions from the teacher or to get help from a tutoring lab or to get help from a friend. The longer you wait to start an assignment, the less resources you have. Having limited resources makes learning math much more stressful. Three, don't rely too much on the online resources for help. My Math Lab and ThinkWell have great options for learning aids while you're doing your homework. Like help me solve this or view an example or watching a video of the teacher explain how to do each problem. But be careful when you use these tools. I've had students that have aced all the homework assignments but fail the test. Even if you make a hundred on a homework assignment, at the end of the day you need to be able to work those problems on your own with nothing but a pencil and your brain and maybe a calculator. There's not going to be a help me solve this button on the test or a view an example button on the test. So you need to wean yourself away from those tools. Often teachers give online quizzes in addition to the homeworks. These are a great way to see if you can really work the problems on your own. 
At some point, you need to practice working the problems with only the tools you're going to have on the test. Number four, don't get bogged down. I like to call this the six minute rule. If you have been working on a problem for six minutes and you're not making any progress, make a note of that problem and move on to something else. Now, if you're making progress on the problem, don't stop after six minutes. This is only for those problems where you really aren't getting anywhere or you don't even know where to begin. Since you've made a note, this can be a great question to ask the professor or a classmate or a tutor. Also, you may be able to figure it out after working a few other problems, so don't be surprised that when you come back to the problem, it makes sense and you can do it easily. The important idea here is not to get stuck on a single problem for too long. Finally, sometimes it's helpful to get a running start. If a homework problem seems way too difficult, then try finding an easier problem to work first. It's like stretching before you run. Also, a good way to get warmed up is to look through the worked problems in the text or in your notes before attempting the homework. Looking through these problems and analyzing the steps can help to get you started. Seeing and working easier problems can help warm you up for the harder problems. So, when working online homework assignments, remember, be organized, start early, don't rely too much on the online help tools, remember the six minute rule, and sometimes it's good to get a running start. Your expectations for online math homework should be to get a 95 or above. A 70 or an 80 is no good. I hope these tips will help you get the most out of your math homework. Thanks for watching.